Hi, welcome to Barney Tech channel. Hi, in this section, we are going to see about SEMO code relay. How to communicate, upload, download to the relay by using TIA portal software. Before going into the software, we will see the short hint about the SEMO code relay. This relay is widely used for motor production in DOL starter, forward reverse starter, and also for coordination with soft starter. And we have a many application for this relay. This relay is mainly used for low voltage motor and it, it's recommended for only low voltage system also. In previous video, I have shown how to get this software and installation procedure and the link is given below for your reference. Now we will go into the topic. Double click on TIA portal software and open it first. Over here, we can able to see open existing project, create new project, migrating project and below we can able to see installed software. We will see all one by one. Open existing project is used to open the file which we already created or already used project file. If you are new then we cannot able to use it. Second create new project it is used to, to make a new project file next install software over here you can able to see what software version you are installed in the system now we will see how to create the project when you click the create new project this window will be opening in this window first is your project name this can be according to your project related name and second the location of the saving for this project if you keep as a default one then this project will be saved in document on c colon or if you want to save this project in any specific location you can choose this path and finally last column will be in description about this project deeply you can make some de description on this project after creating the project we can see the four topics device and network device parameter control device and project view from the above four we can directly click on project view then open the project view it is a new project so inside we do not have any relay file and also it is very easy to get data from the relay to laptop now we will see how we can get the data from relay to laptop now click a top of the project name and then go for menu over the menu click the online over here you just click update device as a new station hardware and software now the new window will be open over here we can able to update device to laptop next we have to select the type of interference with your laptop and relay for communication when you use the front port with usb converter then we have to select the Cirrus PTP over this interference communication. Next we need to select the COM selection. If your computer is connected with many USB port then you need to select the correct port which is connected to SEMA code relay. For checking this port we have to see on device manager. I will show how to check in device manager in easy way. Just right click on the PC and go to the property then scroll down to the last page and then scroll down to the last and you can able to see the find device manager if it is a windows level you have to uh, follow these steps if it is windows 7 it will be in the right side of the corner the device manager then click here the new window will be open over there we can able to see all hardware interference with windows in that we have to check on port in my laptop only one port is connected that is com6 
with serial to USB converter. But if your laptop has connected with many port, then you have to check which port number as for serial to USB converter. I have only COM6. If my laptop has two COM, then we have to need to select on PG to PC interference on correct COM address. Once you selected the correct COM, after verify, then you can able to go for start searching. And the CMO code will start to search the device and it will show the detecting device. Then click on it and go for update option. It will start to collect data from device to laptop. Here we can able to see the file which is loaded from CMO code related to laptop. This how we have to take the settings from the relay to laptop. Now we will see how to send file to CMO code relay from laptop. Once you change the setting, it is very easy to send the file to relay. Just click on download option. Before send to relay, need to compile one time. When you click on download, upload preview window. In this, we should not get any error. If you have a warning, no problem. If you have a error, then you should not send to relay. Now I get only warning. So I can able to send to CMO code relay. Now it will start to load configuration into relay. I hope it is very easy to get the file and send the file to relay. Keep in mind, in this software, get file from the relay to laptop. We have to use upload and send file from laptop to relay is download we came to the end of this section see you on next video if you like this section then please share to your friends and colleagues take care and bye from barney tech channel thank you for watching this video